Multiple children have now died in accidental shootings across Tennessee this year. The latest happened just this past weekend in Nashville. And it has police departments thinking about different ways to encourage safe storage of firearms. News 2's Sarah Smith traveled to Marshall County and spoke with the Chapel Hill Police Department about their approach. This is a scene Chapel Hill police are trying to avoid. An eight-year-old boy in Nashville found a gun in an attic and accidentally shot himself in the face. He died at a hospital. We were just racking our brain, kind of trying to come up with a way to make things a little safer for everybody. And so we decided to republicize the, uh, the, the gun kits and it seems to be working. Chapel Hill Police Chief Andrew Kahn says they're handing out gun safety locks. Here's how it works. We have a weapon that is not loaded. And what we would do is we would insert it through the magazine well, to come out like this and then go into the block. Like that. Tennessee doesn't have any laws requiring guns to be stored in a certain way and owners don't legally have to lock up their weapons. But communities are encouraging neighbors to practice safe storage, especially in light of violence across the country, like the recent school shooting outside Atlanta. Police say a 14 year old killed four people and injured several others. His father reportedly gifted him the gun used in the shooting. After all the things that have happened uh, with the school shootings and things of that nature, uh, we released on Facebook this afternoon about the uh, firearm safety kits and we've gotten a overwhelming uh, interest in them. Khan says the community is responding to their push. I've had probably five or six phone calls in the last couple hours, uh, which is pretty surprising. Like I said, we're, we're a small community, uh, so that's a, a very good start to trying to introduce these and, and that there's a need, clearly. He says it's a cause close to his heart. We're also parents and we're, uh, you know, members of the community, and so it, it, it affects us both in our private life and in our public service life. The chief says the safety locks are free and you can pick them up at the police department.